Hello, it is Editor Kayla here, and I am here with a disclaimer about this episode because Maria fell asleep in the middle of recording it. So, um, Maria is going to drop out on her audio um, towards the end of the episode and does not return until the very end of the episode, and she did not realize she fell asleep in the middle of it until after we were done recording, so that is why Maria is not present um, for the end part of the episode, if you were wondering. Um, But other than that, just wanted to give you a heads up and hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Knee Slapping K-Pop Podcast, and welcome to Produce Month Part 2 for this year, Part because dust. we didn't have enough um, earlier in the year, so we have a whole another month for all Produce content. So I am here with Sammy, Hello. who is watching all seasons of Produce along with me, and we also have Maria as like a unbiased third party for this episode. I'm alive! Yes. Woo! <laughs> and today we are going to be tier ranking songs from all of the produce 101 groups yeah and there have been 14 groups there so... is now 14 groups one of them doesn't have music yet yeah so um, x form at the time of recording does not actually have a single song out yet so we, we are not <laughs> tier so ranking x form songs but Getting in right at right the at deadline, <laughs> right, right on the time, deadline. we have I and I with their song that came out literally eight hours ago. Eight hours ago, we got a song And we've from already I and gone, I. we'll get to it, but we've already gone on a journey with it. We have, because we also watched Produce Japan today, so it today. was like, they are right on time for that. We're perfectly on time for that. Um, but before we get into tier ranking the songs, and for, oh, I guess we should mention, so we are going to be live listening along to the songs. I'm not going to have that in the episode, but just know that we will be doing that during the tier ranking. Yep. And, and these for a are bunch s- of these songs, this will be Maria's first time listening. For, for yeah, a lot of them. the Korean ones. Yeah, outside, outside the Korean them. ones, I, pr- I think I pretty much listened to all the Korean ones. If not, yeah. or most of them, yes. if not. Mm-hmm. But th- so it'll be a nice refresher than the other ones outside of Korea. It's going to be pretty much considering totally that new. there are brand new yes. four Korean groups and now ten non-Korean groups. I yep. think that this is a majority uh, new. Yes. Oh yes. yeah. Um, oh yeah. But before we get into tier ranking the actual songs, we do have um, a tier ranking of the actual groups as a whole. Um, yes. To just go over first. So in S tier, we have J01. No big surprise Icons there. Icons of our time. We, we love them. Absolutely Fabulous. love them. They're our favorites. Um, in A tier, we have Eyes 1 and 9%. Again, love them. Icons of our music. time. Fabulous. Mwah. B tier is pretty stacked because there's a lot of groups that are like pretty good. So we have 101, U9, The 9, Into 1, and INI all in B tier. I and I and Into One don't really have a lot of content yet, but what they have shown is good, so they yes. just gotta pass into B tier for now. They have they have room to both go up and down. Yeah. Um in C tier we have Bon Bon Girls 303, IOI, um, X1, just ignore that this is a picture of Wano One. We're gonna call ignore that, that X, please. ignore that for right now. And X form X form doesn't have any content yet, so they're just kind of a big mystery. But like the scandals around this group have a also, lot of scandals. Oof, you know. Also, again, most of time. this is because these groups were given bad content. Um, X one and has also one X one has nothing. Like, there's nothing to. I I only has three songs. Bon Bon Girls is like they have talented people, but are given horrible songs. So that too. And then in D tier, we have Rise and we have Rocket Girls. Um, not our favorites at all. No. For sure. We are, we are not the biggest fan of the groups that came out of, uh, of Chuang. Of Chuang. Essentially. Produce China. China Season 1. Which is Chuang, essentially. Which is so. just Chuang. Before it was called that. So I'm yeah, not so... missing anything by not watching those shows, is what you're saying. No. Fantastic. No, are, no. Again. I, I am of the opinion that there are only about three seasons of this show you really need to watch. Yes, And yes. for that, uh, we'll get you into can, our tier ranking can, of There's the... essentially, like, one per country that you can watch. Yes. That is a really good to, representative. Because if you yeah. really want to do that, you gotta watch season two from Korea. You watch season Idol one Producer from, from China. Yeah. And season one from Japan. Those and are the set. three god-tier seasons. Those are the three, then you're good. All of these other ones, you know... 
And if you want, like, real craziness, I also recommend Chuang 2021. Chuang 2021 is pretty fun. Oh yeah. Great. Great show. Honestly, yes. great. That's but, about, that's just entertaining. I would that's, that's just, just incredibly entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. We had a lot of fun on that season. Um, we'll so get, yes. We all have a full we'll episode get, on that later. We will. We'll get back to it this month. Um, and anyway, so back to our um, tier ranking songs tier ranker here. We have our normal knee slapper tiers, as we do with our fun names. Yep. And the first song we have here is Dream Girls by IOI. So that was IOI's debut song. Yeah. And um, the one that started it all. I don't the one love that it. Started it. This whole madness is all because of these it's people. It's very. I I mean it. It came out what? That was 2015. 2016. Man, 2016. it's so weird seeing some of these people because it's like Chunna girl has such a great solo career. It's like yeah. Who, I mean, a lot of these all girls these also have is like disappeared. Oh, man. I mean, it is interesting to see where the show started. It is. This song is just it's trying, very generic. It's trying so hard to be um, into the new world and be and doing a really it bad really job. Is. Yeah, it's trying to be this. I can see. Just, I can see the into what? the new world references for sure. There's like slight. Oh, it yeah. is, but it's like not in but the same way. No, because the song is more. It's, it's more cute. So I know. Yeah, Somi like, is cheerful. so tall compared to everyone else. The but thing it's probably, really it's really probably because she's, she's part tall. white. Probably, but I don't the know. thing with that is that also I feel like Into the New World is like really like fresh and fun. This is a bit much. This is it's trying is, too hard. Really, it's a bit. Much. It is a little yeah. bit. I want to just put it in. It's all right. Let's it's an all right ice, song though. It's not. Cream, it's not amazing. Ice cream is like a. It's, it's like a ice bit good is, mid here. Yeah. Ice cream is like you know. It's fine. Like this, C this, tier. This is a fine song. Like, this isn't it's bad. It's fine. Yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. I mean, it's not amazing. It's not amazing. But yeah. it's fine. Yes, yes. Again, I, I used to have a true hatred of this song. I feel like I've just gotten over that. Just it's just kind it's of like, like It's just kind of there, All of these you know? girls would go on to do far better and far worse. It's true. It depends those, on the person, though. Because there, there's definitely very far worse. Just like, where have you guys been? But it's also because yeah, their company's oh, yeah. been true. worse. So. All right. So what's next? So the next song here is Into the Fire by Into One. So we're going from very first to like one of the most recent immediately. Yeah, so this came out like July of this year. This is Into One's debut song. It has some of our favorite new people. Yeah, some of our uh, favorite people from this year are in Into One. I ad- I kind of like it. Their music Speaking is of someone who's good. half white, we also have another person who's half white. We have Mika here. We I think there are several because I think also... Patrick is half white. Is Patrick half white? Is he Patrick half was... German? Patrick Someone's is half, half German. German. Patrick is half German because yeah. we were like, Patrick needs to meet Yang Yang and Alex. Yes, yes. A lot of Eurasian yes, homies is what I'm hearing. There's oh, a lot of Eurasian Oh, oh no, homies. half of this group, because you have Patrick who is half, um, isn't Patrick also half, he's, he's half, half German. Thai, half German. Half German. We have nine who is just Thai. You have um, Mika uh, is Mika Japanese, is head, Japanese like, uh, and Hawaiian. I is he I believe, the one who's Hawaiian? I believe yes. Um. Then you have Santa who is Japanese. Yeah, there's a lot. That's a very a lot multicultural of, group. And there's in only Hawaii. nine of them. Yeah. So like, there's just a lot of very fun people in in. And uh, Rikamaru, who's also Japanese. Rikamaru, oh yeah. I was like, there's a fifth one. And honestly, like... So wait, is it a Chinese group from a Chinese... It's yeah, a Chinese this is a group. Chinese group. This is from Chuang 2021, another absolutely amazing season. And honestly, like, C- C-pop is usually pretty bad, but this honestly, is, like, good. It's, like, good yeah, C-pop. It's very good C-pop. It has that aggression that a lot of C-pop has. C-pop is very aggressive, yes. But, like, in the best way. Oh yeah. Yeah, this isn't that bad. Like, I actually really like this. I think it's good. I think I I'm, like, I'm excited for them as a group, honestly. I am too. I think I do like the Storm Center, the song we're going to get to better. later more. Yeah. But I do, re- I think I want to put Let's this put in, in like Zoom, Zoom, uh, Zoom walk or Queso. Queso. Let's go Queso. Let's go I think queso it's good enough that. for Queso. All right. So what's that so next this one? Is That's never, a Rise song. Never Surrender by Rise. That's Never Surrender by Rise. So Rise was in... Chewing 2019. Youth- 2019, yes, 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 yes. And we, as you could tell, we're not big Rise fans. Um, a lot of it is because that season is one of the that most boring. That season is one of the most boring. 
Also, I do not like the kid who's the center of Rise at all. No. I think he's very no, bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that is one of the the poor things about uh we keep having to be reminded of him because he does play a big part in 2020. He does. He does. He's, he is he there. continues to appear. This song is This song is honestly, actually also pretty good for C-pop. I enjoy it. First, it's more of the like lighter C-pop. I've also yeah. fallen in love with the one kid that ends up uh, in Falling Into Your Smile and Sweet Teeth. Oh, love yeah. him. He's fabulous. Mostly cuz he's a great he's a good actor. But mm-hmm. Murray, what do you think of this song so far? Let's see. Uh, it's building up. Hold up. I need to hear the drop. It doesn't necessarily have a large. Okay, scope. that's not bad. Like that's a, that was a good build up. That was a yeah. decent build up. It's a chill drop. I like mm. it. I, I like it. Like I like the vibe zoom, of this. Zoom, zoom, yeah, we'll go zoom yeah. zoom. It's zoom, pretty nice here. It's got like that EDM that I really like in it. So. It does. It's yeah. a bit EDM. Yeah, this is this is a nice EDM pop kind of mix sound. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. obnoxious. Right. No, and like trust me. We'll see later. We'll Korea. get to really obnoxious. C pop can get very obnoxious. This oh, is yes. like chill. Oh yeah. Uh, so what's so that's downpour by IOI. Downpour by IOI. So the goodbye song. Yeah. So, again, as a simp from a boys, I have to point out that the song was written by Wooji from Seventeen. It was. I do like this. Um, I like it. I just think it's a very. It's a ballad. It's just like a it's sad a, ballad. It's a sad ballad, and no offense, but the group was together. F- I know it's like a they're trying to make it sentimental. It's a sentimental goodbye yeah, I, song. Yeah, I, I, maybe if you were a big IOI fan, that like it hits your heartstrings. For me, I'm like, because this is the only. This is the only group that has the ever only done Korean this. group that's gotten a goodbye song. <laughs> like, no, this is the only I think group that has gotten a sentimental goodbye ballad. Because. I, of, I's one kind of got one, but it was kind of, like, shoved aside a little bit, and so was Wana One's, and then- Wana X- One's was kind of Spring Breeze, which was a full comeback. And X it wasn't just kind of, like, you know- Disappeared off disappeared, of Hazel Planet, and we forgot yeah. that that happened. Well, probably because it was such a big hit that it was just kind of like, let's, let's, I just let's, let's recap this, is... this whole journey. And I think because I mean, it was, they were the first group and everything. Yeah, and I understand it, like, that. And I also nicely. think that, again, they tried it, they realized that they didn't want to do it again. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's a reason that they never did it again. I think it's fine. It's fine. I think it, and yes, one it all depends thing. on how much, how emotional you are. It's a story. ballad. A ba- ballads, a ballad. ballads are most popular. Indeed. Ballads are popular in Korea. Ballads are popular in China. It's just the shtick there. They love their ballads. Like ballads. This is part of the ballad music culture there. You know, this is great. Just, it adds yeah. more value if you love the group. But otherwise, yeah, I don't go for I'm balance. This, <laughs> the entire thing about this song is that if you're very into the group, you'll love it. If you're not, you're not really gonna... And also, no offense, but the IOI vocalists have a range of how that they should be singing, like, emotional oh, yeah. ballads. That's true. There's a few well. that are great at this. There's a few where I'm like, ugh. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know. I'll put it dinner? in. Dinner? No, I think it's. I think it's probably better ice than cream. dinner. Ice yeah. cream. Is that them okay. performing at KCON in New York or LA? Probably. I don't One know what two. KCON they were uh, at. I think so. I think they did go to a KCON. Some KCON. I don't know which U9 song this one is. Uh, so it's either... It's uh, one of these four, but I just couldn't tell you which That's one. not U9, that's 9%. 9 percent? Oh, is it 9? Oh, it is 9%. So it's either I Need a Doctor, Rule Breaker, It's not I Need a Doctor. Yo, know, I'm curious, who gets the trophy for whenever they want music shows? Who gets the trophy? The company? No, probably. which company, The company though? keeps the company. it. But, like, which uh, company? Oh, like, probably like, whoever was whoever, managing whoever them. Whoever managed them. I whoever don't remember. Whoever managed them. I don't remember who was managing... Was yeah. that Stone Music? I don't oh, remember who was managing been Stone. I think this is Inseparable by 9%. Alright, so Inseparable does not actually have a music video, so here is this thing. It kind of... It has a music video, but it had to have been fan uploaded because oh, China. I see. But this is kind of a goodbye song. Mm-hmm. We have another goodbye song. It's also like nine percent. So we have talked about this in previous episodes. The thing with I have IOI faced like massive like management issues, and oh, that's why extremely. they don't have like they any have music. no songs. Yeah. The thing with it is, and and I think that that's really where 
you get a lot of value from these songs based on how invested you are in this group. Because this is a very similar song to Downpour. It is. It's all a goodbye song. I like this infinitely more, mainly because I love 9% infinitely more than I like DIY. This is, like, all so... All these people this, are fabulous. It's, it's, yeah, it's very much in the same realm as Downpour, for sure. Yeah. My thing is, I love 9%. It's so a little bit more interesting as a song huh. this isn't a straight it's ballad. It's not okay. a straight ballad. Yeah. It's got a little more flair because I don't think nine percent would could nine percent like five rappers, rappers to have a ballad. You can't have a full yeah. ballad. Did nine percent have nine members? Because if not, yes. that would be disappointing. Most they of do. these, all of the groups that have nine in the title, which have are nine many, members, many, which is many of them. The title. <laughs> I kind of want to put this in like. We'll put it like zoom zoom. zoom, zoom. Yeah, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. They're very sweet. That is just J O one song. Infinity, so we have yeah. the the J O one uh yeah. debut. I love them. I so adore much. them. <laughs> They're so good. We have to actually give <laughs> like differentiation between these JO1 songs. We cannot just say we love it's all It's great, of them. but they're so good. <laughs> but all of them are fabulous. This is very much like Hey budget. Hello song. budget. They showed the budget to this MV. They do have the budget. J01 does have the buzz. It. They are like half owned by CJ and M. Yeah, they are. They are that like that makes a hell of a lot of sense yeah. with their yeah. sound. Okay, this is good. What it's song really is this? This is good. good. It's called Infinity. Infinity. It's. It could be a lot of one. When was song. this like, dropped? Last year. I'm ninety percent song that this problem. No, this. Yeah, yeah twenty twenty. Oh, this is really I'm good. I'm 90% saw, sure that this was a one one Y'all should rank this high. This is actually really solid. Yeah, we, we love this. This is going cup of milk. Cup for of sure. milk. This is a cup of milk. Brilliant. Yes. Milk and die. Bye. It's really good. I like and this. I, I think that J J one is really what started... I think produce month generally. Oh yeah, because we were. I had somehow convinced you to watch uh, Idol Producer, and yes. we were gonna watch Produce Japan. Yes. And those two ended up being two of our favorite. So seasons, good. So just good. Because they're like iconic moments. Yes. They're yes. Iconic moments in time. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. But yes, I love all that's of what these people all. so much. And I love that they are really ushering in, like, the let's do K-pop and Japanese sound, because of that course. is, I am all here for that. That's so. everything I want from J-pop. Exactly. Um, so next is Boomerang by 101. Ah, uh, Boomerang. So this may be my least favorite 101 I song. don't enjoy this I one, I don't really. enjoy this one at all. I think, I think, hold up. Yeah. It's it's just got that loud noise that K pop My thing is like I do. don't like the instrumental at all. Yeah, that instrumental you is not you know, good. now that I think when, about it, I'm like, it's not terrible, but definitely is their weakest title track, I think. Yeah. Like when you th- like the thing with those loud boy group songs, especially if you're gonna focus so much on that instrumental where you're just gonna have them scream the same word. Mm-hmm. Man, the, the con Daniel hype annoying. though. The con Daniel hype came. was so high. Yeah, True. I, I have was. opinions on Kang Daniel. Same. I have a lot of opinions on a lot of these boys. Because a lot of these boys went on to do... In terms of a group that is still relevant and popular, and all the members, most of them, yeah, relevant and popular, I don't think you can match Wanna One right now. I don't think so At least so of the either. Korean ones. Because yeah. X1, it was too short. Yeah. And then IOI mismanagement of their of their from their companies half mm-hmm. of those groups are disbanded yep all these wanna one boys are doing something they're somewhere even guanglin went to china and is thriving oh yeah they are. Like, um, I d- th- yeah they are doing things i'll give them that they are yeah so what do you want to do with boomerang i don't uh, uh, it's probably going to Dinner's Ready. It's not, like, Dinner's that good. Ready. It's not truly Yeah, it's, yeah, it's their awful. weakest title track, I think. Period. But it's not truly awful. Yeah, yeah. it's not awful, yeah. but it's just kind of yeah. like, oh, you kind of forget it exists. Mm-hmm. They've done better. They've done infinitely better. Oh, yeah. What's so, the- that's this, is col- this is Collide by Rocket Girls. Oh, this sorry. Is- that's yeah. Rocket Girls. Which one's Collide by Rocket Girls? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. So Rocket Girls truly releases, like, this genre of C-pop I don't really like. And the thing with Rocket Girls, Rocket Girls released this song, like, three times, because this is also the same as Born to Win. 
This is the same song as No, it's such a it's a such a it's similar a same... vibe. So if you want like a similar what yeah. a lot of C pop girl groups are like Maria, they're a lot like this. So they're very upbeat sounding. And I also... wouldn't say they're very they can be like very noisy as well. They can be very noisy thing. and they can also have that same kind of aggression that the boy groups have. Because I think the Nine and Bon Bon Girls are probably better representation of C-pop because I think Rocker Girls leans well, the more on the thing... cute side a lot, which is not no, a place and then where that's the other are. side of that's the other side of C-pop is yeah. this, where it's like this could also have been made by children. Yeah, C-pop has a big problem of sounding like a children's song. Like that's a big theme in <laughs> kind of C-pop for sure. <laughs> I love that's the instrumentals. This like, sounds. I'll... It does sound it like it could like be a children's song. Like, this, this could be a children's song. This is a children's song. It does. Song it does give that vibe a little bit. I don't we want to make you go. We want to make you touch down. I don't know what that means. But, like, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. I Ice want dinner. Or dinner. Ice. I think dinner, because I think Born yeah. to Win's a better version of the yeah, similar Yeah, Born to vibe. Win. We got, I forgot that I have three of them in a row, so it's Born I mean, it's to Win. It's not terrible. Yeah. I feel like oh. I've heard a song like that before, though. So this is Born to Win, which is a, such a similar song to Collide. And I think it's better. Oh, yeah. To me. Did I, who called up A-Pink and was all like, yo, can we have your studio you filmed Mr. Chew in? Because this, this looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, so it looks this is like still it. Rock We're still on Rocket Girl, so this is the same group. So who'd have thought the the two girls from? It's got um, that. It's definitely got that children's song thing still there, but it's a little bit more interesting of a song. Yeah, I think this came out after Collide, so I think this is. Does this have like version. um? Oh God, what members from that group? Oh, it does. From it has WJSN, Mickey yes, and it's got two I was about to say, I'm WJSN, like, two of them yeah. look familiar. Yep. They're no, both two from... of them are both in there. Yep. I think Mei want... is the center. Mei doing great she in is. China. She's thriving. And you know what? Good for her. Oh, they have an Amber lookalike in this. That's <laughs> Sunny. Sunny spelled S U N N E E, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and also, Marie, you'll find more. There are well, more. There's there are so, more there's Amber so lookalikes. Many. All of the so girl groups many. have one. Have they gotta have their um, tomboy looking one for marketing all purposes. Of yeah. All of them have a tomboy. Actually, one of them has two. Yeah, the, the, nine, nine have two? the nine has two. Yeah. Oh, this can go in ice cream because it's a little better. I than like, the other yeah, one. it's better than Boris one, so it can go in yeah. ice cream. What's that this one? Next one's the wind. Oh, God. There it is. So we're just going through a lot of uh, Rocket, Rocket Girls. Girl. Rocket Girls right did now. a lot of music. They, them and Rise, I think have some of the or the groups with like the, the most, most music. music. Yeah, and probably like One on One. One on One had yeah, a lot. Uh, no, Eyes, oh, Eyes, one. Oh, Eyes, Eyes one, one has a lot because they have Japanese and Korean. And we will be going through the Japanese we release, will. so Eyes one too. So is this, this is a boring ballad. ballad. Yes, oh, this it's is a boring ballad. ballad. Okay. Because I was like, I don't think I've ever heard this. And I'm like, oh, because it's a ballad. That's why I've never heard it. The thing with uh, Chinese ballads, Chinese ballads are also very quiet. They are. Like, it's pure, very... Pure Chinese ballads are very I do quiet. think they this, are. Is very bo- this is very boring. I'm so bored of it already. <laughs> I get it. I don't care for ballads. I don't either. If I like a ballad, to me, it's amazing. Yeah. If it's not an yeah. amazing ballad, is, I'm not like listening a, to it. For me, a a ballad that I really like has to be like a full power like ballad. A boy like a boy power need ballads, vocals. yeah. I need power ballads. Yo, TVXQ like Love ballad. on the Ice, that shit's Yeah, that, fire. that's a fucking That is an ballad. amazing yeah, amazing. ballad. I yeah. lo- oh, this man. This is so- I can barely hear this. I've had this- this is I, yeah. the same volume of all the this other This is gonna songs. make me go to sleep, this song. I can song. barely hear this. Mm-hmm. Alright, so next we have an OSE, which shouldn't count. I'm just gonna move but... some of these around so we're not doing all of the same group in a row. Yeah. So the next one is an OST for the King's Avatar because Rise did a song, and I just wanted to point out that Rise did a song called "Glory Battlefield." Mm-hmm. And um, that's a title. That's a choice. It's an e and look, it's an esports gaming show. I'm a sucker for it. It also stars Yang Yang. Why um, does he have a Canadian pin? Uh, because the a maple leaf is the symbol for the team. Oh. It's actually cool. It's kind of like a really... I like the song a lot. 
But it's, it's, it's very it much is, an it OST. Is a, it's another ballad, like, yeah. It's a more of a power ballad, though. Like, you get They can only play their games if they shove a card into a slot? Look, I'm not... The King's Avatar is a very... It's like a 50-episode esports game. It's long. Show. I don't know what you... Sea dramas are long. Sea dramas are long, but, like, in the best way imaginable long. It is kind of power ballad, but it's not, like, quite enough of a power it's a, ballad. I like it because I like OSTs. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't listen to OSTs really ever. That Like, their vibe of them is usually not... The vibe of them for. only for me works if I've seen the show. I can't listen to an OSC of show I haven't seen. Yeah, well, yeah, that too. Uh, eh. We can put this in ice cream. Yeah. This is... This is alright. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's OSC. fine. There's yeah. so many... Uh, Rise did so many OSCs. Rise did, like, a stupid amount of OSTs. They did a lot Man, of Man, they have so many, like, video game, like, I know, dramas. I've seen all of them, Kayla. Yeah. And Marie, I've seen all of them. I love every single one of them. Oh, man. Not, no, that's a lie. There's a lot of them that are very bad. But there's a lot of them that are very good. I'm a very big proponent of this very specific niche of Sea <laughs> I love a and lot it's all of just them. dedicated to people playing competitive gaming, MMO games, games, right? The thing is, I hate real video games. But I gaming C dramas are... Which is are funny my, that you do. Gaming C dramas are yeah. my kryptonite. Mm-hmm. Like it's I don't care for really MMO. Go squid. Like those I types really of games. Hate MMOs. Falling. In, yeah. I, don't, I cannot play I don't, MMOs. I've never played an MMO, like, and I did not single know person it. player Lucas games to, all the way. Yeah, same. Honestly, I mean, I Lucas had to explain to me what an MMO was. Yeah, I did not I, know what that it, is a style of gaming I could never actually play. I don't understand it. I still don't understand it. Mm-hmm. But uh, hey. Look, it is the components of friendship that, and, like, love that I adore. It's because they're essentially sports anime, except the sport is esports. So exactly. Also the fact that, like, it's better because they can teach these actors to type on a keyboard faster than Rather than, than you know, teach, play a sport. For, that they like, don't. Fake play a sport. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Infinitely better. For me. Uh, th- this is a uh, Slay and Play by Bon Bon, right, bon, bon, bon Girls. Bon Girls. Yeah. Uh, slay and Play. So Bon Bon Girls is that more aggressive, noisy. The thing with Bon Bon Girls 303 is Bon Bon Girls has so many people I like. Same. Look at Curly right here. She's great. There's so her many name's people Curly, I but her hair ain't Curly. That's confusing, dog. You know, it's, Curly, it's, it's, yeah. it's sure. It's, the thing that gets me with Bon Bon Girls all the time is they look like they hate like being nah, there. They don't. They look like they pleased. hate being a, in a C-pop group. They don't look happy. Honestly, they probably dislike each other that much. I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't think it's a problem with each other. I think it's just that they don't like the songs that they're given because they're not good. The yeah, this is this is weirdly good. produced. This, this is a is weird production. Of, it's just more of C pop. This, this is, is very the kind C-pop, of style C pop yeah. does a lot. Yep. It's either children's song or this. Or you get really noise aggressive like, yeah. okay this part's okay production wise I kinda but like the chorus kind of sucks yeah. and it just it's feels kinda flat it, the chorus is bad yeah dinner or clothes that's ooh i think they have worse songs they do bon bon girl so we'll put it that in dinner and we'll wait for the worst yeah songs seeing, for some, seeing some of these groups makes me realize how short my hair is comparison because <laughs> like they got these are some long extensions they do have pigtails. long hair they yeah. do have very long like hair. i wonder how many of them hair. have extensions is my question probably i mean lot. they are I they are wearing pigtails so like it's possible that entire pigtail is an extension one member of that group had like really short hair during the show and now has like really long hair so she has to be wearing extensions i'm pretty sure yeah like this is this, these right? guys are like doing a whole pigtail zoom, thing i think uh, to the back of the hair where am I? Where is Zoom? There it is. I think everyone in this group has a pigtail in their hair. Like, two of them. Yeah, they, I, I think, think that was the, of, that's, that that's, was the That's theme. the aesthetic. That's the, the theme, theme we're yeah. going for, is pigtails. I used, I huh. could pull it off as a child. I don't know if I could pull it off now. It probably Yeah, I don't think that's a style hell. of hair I could do now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, All wait. Right. What the heck is going on with this production? Uh, This is the weird breakdown. <laughs> Hold up. I need to hear this weird breakdown. 
Oh, that's why they're all pigtails. They, so they can whip their the hair around Michaela. badly. Yeah, it's just a hair Remember? whipping. It's a weird. That song. is a weird production, a weird but song, also, yeah. hey, like, kind of. Where's the money for this music video? I'm gonna put it down here. This it's is not like. Good. I don't know what's going on with Bon Bon Girls. Honestly, this, they're so confusing to me as a group. They do confuse me. They're so confusing. All right, so this is Zoom by Rise. Oh, here's the kid we love. Uh. Okay, we look, have a very big issue. That actually kind of looks Rise. cool. He's very bad. The center of Rise is not good. I don't enjoy him at all. So Rise also does the very aggressive sounding C pop. This kind of looks cool so far. This video is kind of cool looking, I will say. And also, I am a sucker for any time you really just take, um, and, you know, you got the, the traditional theme. Yeah, I do like the traditional theme. Is that the center? Yes. He has terrible hair at all given points in time. I don't know how you- I'm not gonna be- you know, know what, I'm just gonna be honest, his hair doesn't look that bad. Not this way, but also I don't- I think he has he bad He has this presence. really bad mullet thing a lot. Um, a lot. He also, I think, yeah, terrible stage presence. I think that's my big thing, is he really- But, like, the rest of the bad. group is not bad. The rest of Rise of the Group is not bad. No, it's just, and, but why is he, so why is he the center when he's true. got the worst stage presence? And also, also this is the kid I absolutely love. He's great. Nice. But, um, this is I like fine. this song. This it's fine, fine. It's fine, yeah. I actually like it. I, I'll take it, I like a good uh, traditional we'll put concept. Put this in Zoom Zoom with their other one. Yep. Also, I'm a sucker for any, like, you know, two inches of water. Yeah, just dancing in two inches of water is a fun aesthetic. Um, this is Fiesta. Ah, uh, we're back to Korea. I kind of like this Korea. a lot, actually. Hold up, I like this yeah, a this lot. Yeah, this is kind of nice. No, I actually really enjoy this. Like, what What should we rank it as? I, I kind of want to up it. We can up it one, Up yeah. it to walking. Up it to up it to Yeah, queso we can put tier. it in queso. Yeah, walk with it's that like, cheese. That sh stuff is queso, the yo. Queso. That's the queso. Oh. I think this is maybe one of- I think it's one I, of their worst songs. It well, is. Well, no, you know what? Not They're counting not that the Japanese. Look, but, anytime know. we say this, we are only talking about the, the Korean Koreans. The Koreans, yeah. But- We're not counting I about don't the Japanese this ones. Song. It's fine. I don't either. It's not bad. It's not that bad, yeah. It just seems like kind of a uh, meh. It is very meh, is the thing. It's, it's a very fine. pretty video, though. It, the video is great. Oh, the, the music video. video, great production on this one. The song yeah, itself, sure. though, I'm not a fan of the chorus of the yeah. song, but the verses are fine. I like the verses. The chorus, also, the chore I love the choreo for this song. The choreo, choreo is great. Yeah, really choreo is really good. They they yeah. they managed these guys really well when it came to choreo. I mean, I think oh, that yeah. overall, a lot of um, Eyes One got very good choreo. They, they got did. very lucky with the choreo. They did, for sure. Um, zoom Zoom? Zoom Zoom is good, yeah. Oh, this is, um, our favorite, favorite Christmas song. Ah. Uh, so this is one I'm of glad they actually had them time. dance, thank God. Yeah. Oh, Eyes one? Yes. They got great choreo. And I think they, their choreo definitely makes great use of their members, so that's yeah. also really helpful. So now we're doing a song that doesn't have choreo. Yeah, that horn's Korea, a little bit weird in the Merry chorus. Christmas. This is the best Christmas song ever made. <laughs> yes. This is the best Christmas song. Happy Merry this Christmas. Happy Merry made. Christmas. That's a lot. I love it. So this, I don't even know. We we put this here entirely because so it's it Kaylin. We love this song. Yeah. So this is officially on their first album. They it did is. remake the song. It was originally one of the um, original, original songs, songs on Produce Japan. Season and one. only Ruki was in it i think only rookie made yeah only rookie yeah. made the group yep but i adore it everything makes me about so this happy it's i so don't know why cute. it's so fun i so, love it Maria, so much to, to, as a little bit of story when we saw the words happy merry christmas as an original song we were like this is gonna but fucking why <laughs> but why are we doing i mean that's that a name? weird title yeah and then you listen to Okay, it they like, timed this, this really well. He broke a balloon, yeah, he whipped the claw. Like this a music one video shot. is amazing. It's pretty great. Each of them get a task. Yes. I kind of just want to talk for a while and let Maria watch the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Because, like, he's trying so, so hard. Wow, he just broke an apple with his hand. He did. Yep. 
It's absolutely they, incredible. It's incredible. Every it's so because it, it should be in theory this should be terrible. And it me and be. Sammy also both hate Christmas songs. I hate Christmas music. So, yeah. I I truly. But there isn't Christmas really a Christmas theme annoying. to this, you know. I mean, they're speaking entirely about the all the lyrics are about Christmas. This this is this a is Christmas just song because this did air in like I think November and, or December. Yeah, so it and was also Christmas you can time. hear slight bells in the background. There's a oh, lot yeah. of definitely happening. has you can hear it's got a Christmas vibe to it. There's for a, sure. it's, but it's not like full on like have your. Did they get like, the Star of David on their jackets? Like what? No, that's their logo. Oh, their logo it looks like, like the Star of David, low key, high key. No, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just like a lot of stars situation happening. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I love it. <laughs> it's great. Because that's my favorite thing about certain the good Christmas music is like Christmassy, but like can still be good. I can listen to this year. Oh, back, that was I smooth. Do, that was a smooth talent. Oh shoot, that was. I good. listen to this. Gail and I will at random just points like, in like time. August be like, "It's time. We need a happy it's merry time Christmas for happy merry Christmas. We need to experience it together sometimes." Yes. Wow, that timing. This, pay attention to this bit because it is my favorite part. The candles. It's so fun. This is great. Actually. This is great. Wow. We're not starting this over. He's We're like, not We're gonna... doing this again. We're just gonna keep going. Yep, yep. But yeah, no, it and it's I think the video itself is very cute. It's not overly Christmassy. Yeah. You get the Christmas vibes, you get the family vibes. I still don't know what he's doing. Um couldn't tell you. I can't read Japanese. No. Um Maybe he's just asking a Christmas like statement, you know. I think he's just trying to like text without looking, Hi. I guess. But I don't really I don't really know. Ding, dong, da. And technically, the most impressive talent. Technically. Yeah. Technically, I guess. I mean, you know, he could break his hand, in theory. Yeah. Wow. Did he just seriously do that? Yeah. He just right. broke so a so bunch of slabs. That's a cup of milk. Cup of milk. We love that. Wow. That's, very that's impressive. Considering we did just sit here and watch the entire thing. Look at all the only J Ho fighting cup of milk. We're gonna get more. There's a couple nine percent that's I like that one. That there. one sounds cute too. I like the that little bells and all that jazz. I have no cute. idea what this next song is. That's Spring Breeze by Wano One, isn't it? Is it? Oh, that one's that's that yeah. that makes me oh, yeah, sad. Oh yeah, it's Spring Breeze by Wano One. Mm-hmm. The one thing I will give one on videos, I do like that they did put all of the logos from the different companies. I don't think they did that for Eyes one, did they? I don't think they did, actually. I think that was actually very cute. That's cute. Spring Breeze actually kind of makes me low-key sad, but, like, I it's great. I think it is the best goodbye song, because it's, it's nice not technically it, I do yeah. love their title track, and I love their ending song a lot, so... You know? Because the thing I like about it is that it is, it is obviously a goodbye song. It is a slower song. Mm -hmm. But it's not just it's not like a, a ballad. afterthought yeah. ballad, right? No, specifically, it's not an afterthought ballad. They put because thought we made into a whole this. a whole comeback for it. Yeah, so. and like they they were like fully like, no, this is the end. We're doing. Yeah, this. I kind of want to put it in Zoom. Zoom. Zoom Zoom is good. Yeah, or Queso. I like it a lot. I like it. It's nice. I think that they have better songs. They definitely have better songs. Yeah. Uh, this is Cal. I think this is Calorie. Oh, Maria, you're in for a treat. So, Rocket Girls did Oh, you're gonna prevent me from listening to Spring Breeze? Bruh. Fine. I'll let you get to one chorus of Spring Breeze. How about that? God, I missed <laughs> We gotta keep song. going, Maria. We got 44 more songs I know. to do. <laughs> we got- we- we got- you, we gotta do me and Kayla's rule, which is that you get one chorus of a song. You get one chorus, yeah. <laughs> and that's as far as we're allowed that to go. That is fair at this point. Oh, but, like, what more do we want to say about This is cute, breeze? dog. It is cute. I like, I will say, I do think a lot of uh, 101's vocals got better as they went. They definitely did. In that they decided that, hey, Oh, the drama of this song is so do. great. The drama. Because, like, you know, I feel like they mm -hmm. were very underutilized. Ong Sung Woo is an icon of our time. We love Ong Sung Woo and is his lookalikes in Japan. And his so many lookalikes. <laughs> oh got, my god. <laughs> We're up to like three lookalikes. We got three Ong Sung Woos. 
You're gonna have fun with this next one, Maria. Oh, so the backstory of this, Maria, is that um, there's this movie in China. So this is not serious. This is for a comedy film. Yes. That's the first thing that I think you need to realize about this song and why we like it. Is that this is not serious. For a comedy film. Okay. It's for a this comedy film. It's used as propaganda in a comedy it's, movie. Yes. This is not, like, this was not an earnest single that they put out telling people to not eat. This is for a comedy film. Yes. So this was, like, the music video in the comedy film? Or the song in the film? I know, I've never seen, I've never seen the movie, but they made this, but I know that that is the context behind the songs. Yeah. That, like, no one was stupid enough to have these very pretty skinny girls singing about, hey, eat nothing. Yep. And yep, have yep. a small waist. Oh my and god. Mm -hmm. This is satire. This is propaganda in it's a propaganda. film. propaganda. It is not a real song. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm like, oh my That's god. That's the first thing. Having the context behind that is Mix. very important. You need to have the context yeah. behind it or else it's terrible. Mm -hmm. But honestly, as a song, it's hilarious. I kind of love it's it. It's kind of great. Oh, as a Jeez. It's weirdly catchy. I will sing this it for days. I feel very attacked. All this, all this caffeine, the, the ramen. Yeah, that's oh man, I kind of love this song, Kayla. Dan, I know, also loves this Dan song. Loves like, unironically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Dan has actively listened to this on Spotify. He like, has. Actively. He's like, see, he's like seeked out this song to listen to. <laughs> I mean, I do enjoy it a lot. But that's interesting. It is honestly, for a film, though. I yeah. will say. Yeah, if you have the context for it, the context I'm sorry. is a very funny song. <laughs> is ideal. But yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. So what's the film about losing calories? I have no idea. It's not that about, it's not, I don't know, it's probably it's something about some about exercise, like, like exercise, it, government dictatorship, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. But yeah, uh, um, I think that this is like an A. I, no, Kayla, up. Up I know. It. I don't think it's that good. Up it. It's I, amazing. It's, def it's actually, no, it's not where you're that good. Fine. <laughs> we can keep it at Zoom Zoom. What's that one? Uh, that this is La Vie and Rose. Oh, La Vie and Rose, bro. I think this is maybe their best song, La Vie and La Rose. Rose. Man. Is one this yeah. was such a great music. Such it's a great. Really oh, it's so great. This was like. This is when amazing. I was like, oh, they're going to be. so good. Oh, they're man. I miss so it already. Good. This is maybe one of my favorite girl group debuts of all time. This it is, is such an amazing debut. Is, yeah. They so hit good. it out of the freaking park with this. It's Seriously. It's like so understated, but like perfectly elegant. Oh They're my great. god. Oh gosh. Oh man. So man. I remember it's watching so this for the first time being like, oh it's shit. It's so good. They are here it's to so play. Good. They are here to slay. I think it is. It's. I think it's their best song, which is sad that they peaked at their debut song. Well, like, but like it's not that they went that far down. Like, they, they did, did it. Like their worst song. song is like not is Fiesta probably, and it's not bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. like the Korean so one, like, the Japanese one's a whole yeah, different yeah. story. We're, not, but... we're, we're, we're gonna get to the Japanese ones. Get to we're that. getting there. But like, oh my god, this was everything I wanted in a pop song. This is everything I wanted in a pop song. So good. It's oh man. I also love the performance they did at Mama of Mama, the song. That I remix. think it's so good. That remix is so oh, good. Oh, yeah. And the choreography for that remix is also so good. And I also like the fact that they utilized all their members la, 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 to the Rose. best of their ability. Oh, great. yeah. That's great. Oh, man. What's the uh, next one? It's Bamba by U9. Oh, I love this song. It's really good. This song is very fun. I realize I like U9's music a lot. U9... For as interesting as the fact that, like, I always think that um, Idol Producer and Youth With You gave us better groups. Yeah. While Twang may have given us more Rocket interesting- Rocket Girls and Bon Bon Girls and Rise. Hey, it did give us into one. It, give, it, it did really, give us into one. You know what? They're turning around. So They're, they're making that turn around. Is. Yep. But, like, I still think well, between Idol Producer- you nine, nine and the nine. The I think nine, they're, they're winning first now. Yeah. Oh yeah. For music wise, I think yeah. they we have the wins. So uh, Maria, this also does that like slightly more aggressive C pop style. I can tell, but in a better way. Okay. But better. Let's see. It's less. It's a little bit less intense than some of them are. 
But like a bomba. Super duper like, like a bomba. I think like really getting super into the like um the super aggressive is once we hit like a the nine a song is really just like oh, yeah. really in your face and out the there. The thing with C pop is that you have to categorize them into either ch child or aggressive. Child children's song or aggressive. So what's yeah. a bomba like, is my question. I don't know. Couldn't don't tell know. you. <laughs> I mean it definitely is a better Spanish chorus. I dig mom. it. I dig it already. Yeah. I like this a lot. I kind of But like that, that like, like you know, I th I might not completely okay, love it though really because nice. they got that same thing like twice as Cheer Up got where the certain lines in the chorus, I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Yeah. Mood killer. Mood vibe killer. That's ahead of, uh, that, uh so the next one is Bottom on Girls ahead of, of Super A Warning, right? Um, I think so. Yeah. Girl. I actually think this might be one of the Girl, best. Girl, her waist is skinny as fuck. What the hell? Yeah, it's one of their less like obnoxious ones for sure. I still don't want to know where the fuck their budget went. They, uh, yeah, every song they release, they have less budget and look increasingly like bored. More <laughs> defeated. There. Yeah. You know this what? Is probably their best song. Probably. The poor girls. At least they're not being forced to smile while they're performing. True. I don't know what they're else to say. They're not being forced to smile. <laughs> That's true. We've... What uh, the Yeah, of... what the heck is up with this zoom, filmography? Zoom, this zoom. This is like I some like really it. cheap yeah. kind of What's like... What's that one? What the fuck? Ah, uh, Flash. Ah, uh, Flash by X1. Our one and only X1 song. So, uh, <laughs> let's get all of our thoughts on X1 out right now, all guys. Of the X1. X1. All of the X1 um, had potential, but, you know... They... I feel like they could have been really good, but unfortunately they, they disbanded immediately. The because all is... of them are now in boy groups and doing significantly less Worse. Good. Hey, Woods <laughs> is thriving. I love Except Woods. Except for Woods. Woods is doing great, but I want else... Woods to be in a boy group. I want Unique back. I know. I actively want one of them to go be in a boy group, and he won't do it. He won't. And I think also Woods' contract with Yehua ends, like, soon. God damn it. So I think Resign, there's a chance he, I bitch. Think there's a, I think there's a good chance he leaves and goes to, like, one of the, like, the J, like a J Park company or one no, of them. No, I don't and think a J Park no, company. Resign. Watch it be Robbie's company. Resign. Watch it be Robbie's. I've been, never actually Robbie's been trying know. to get some R&B people lately in his company. I don't want Woods in Robbie's company. No, I don't want him in Robbie's company. I've never actively wanted an idol to resign more than I want all of the unique boys to resign and yeah. make a comeback please dear god because it it's makes like, me upset because now after this is a very good song this is a great this song this is a great song um but now it's like we have like one kid went back to victim we have a kid who is just doing solo work but and decided to not go back to uptention yeah he, i'm like is he still in uptention kind of no um we i is doing things bay 173 is, is great. existing uh, bay 173 um, is gravity present. is actively being bad uh, gravity is actively bad the Your name is for gravity is freaking terrible it gets worse with every comeback like true and then um, it's like Bay One Seven Three is just around, and then you know, Mirai is around, and it's just like no one's doing I anything. I have faith really. that Mirai will be, could be fine, could be. Well, decent. the thing is, Mirai went like really generic, loud boy group for oh, yeah. second comeback, so it's like they're kind of. On My the thing is there. that like that generic loud boy group sound. I think there's just too many groups doing it because some of them are good and some of them are not good. Yeah, some the of them ones are good. Thriving. <laughs> look, the ones that are thriving in this environment are MCND is thriving. Mm-hmm. P1 and Harmony um, is thriving. P1 Harmony is thriving. Neither Gravity of which is... have X1 members in them. No, but you know Gravity what? is doing Gravity terrible in, doing that, bad. in that genre. We I when they're not doing that sound are doing great. Yeah, we I when we're doing like not just a loud aggressive is great. And then you have um Bay, I don't know what I don't know what One of the members of B173 is on that stupid wild idol show. Great. We've already given up on Bay. I think that this goes in Queso or Milk. This is a good Queso song, this yeah. is a, This is a pretty solid debut song, but I will song. say I it's just it's everything about Lavia what Rose. the hell went down with that whole voting scandal thing just, like, Look, sours all everything. The voting, yeah. Trust really me, does. all the voting scandals, everything, is, nothing is safe. To be fair, though, yeah. maybe it ended at a good time it did in Korea, because I was thinking, like, how the heck were they going to continue doing it after that season? Uh, do... Oh no! You you just put out Girls Planet Nine Nine Nine. Girls Planet Nine 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 is just produced. produced. It is just produced. And also, and, um, as enough. having watched all the Chinese seasons, there's a lot of random rules that could have thrown in for no reason. 
Yep. A yep, lot. Yep. A lot. So you think they're gonna do a boys nine 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 then? Probably. Honestly, I think it's on the way. I think yeah. I think you. Depending start... on how well Girls Planet does, I think Girls Boys Planet is nine 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 is Planet on the way. Boys Planet nine 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 is next. Fair enough. What's that one? That's Ready Go by U nine. Uh, where is U nine in the timeline? Are they holding drills? So this is a little bit, a lot less. Are they holding the power line. tools? I'm so confused. It's gone now. Yeah, here we are with the loud, aggressive CPAP. There okay. it is. There it is. But it's like not bad though. It's not terrible. Maybe I have just gotten like into CPOP more. It's definitely because I actively than probably Bamba. listen to the most. I probably actively listen to most CPOP out of everybody. Yeah. I don't and know like, if I like I it. Don't... It's a little bit too bombastic for my taste, I think. Cause there's, I kind of like Like, that. I like EDM, I, but when it gets like a little bit too much it. with the EDM production, it's kind of just like... The, the aggressiveness is a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah sometimes it gets me. a little bit too much. It comes off as like super cheesy. skinny boys attempt to be aggressive. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's not bad. Zoom Zoom? Zoom Zoom is good. Uh, it's born to be wild. Uh, oh god, yeah, no, not this wild. chorus now, girl. No, 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 no. The chorus is this. a little- the chorus is not No, 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 no. Born to be wild is probably my least favorite type. Uh, I don't not, know, honestly. I don't know. It's- it's on a lower tier for it, me. It really songs. grew on me after a long time. See, for um, me, it kind of just- I- I just ended up loving everything around it more. Not I that think this it's, is bad. it's their worst album for me, for sure. I don't oh, like the rest album. of the album that much. Um, I think I like it better than Shine a Light, and I like it better than Real, maybe. Oh, I love Shine. Shine a Light is one I of my favorite. I think Shine a Light is my fav oh, least favorite. Oh, I love song. Shine a Light so much. But I think, I don't know. I think that this is, it's good. It's not, not as good like, as the other two Like, that that's the thing of, what I'm saying is that, like, J.O. one is so good. Yeah. That this is just kind of good it's yeah it's not, not the phenomenal good. masterpiece that everything else is yeah it's just great i'm okay with putting um, it in queso yeah let's go put queso for that um i don't know what this next one is to be honest oh uh, we'll skip it for now put it at the end um, and we'll just see whatever we have left if you want to do that is it before it might be before autumn um, it's before, yeah, that's what it is. It's before Autumn. By so bon before bon Girls. Yep. No, that's Rockin' Girls. So before Autumn came out, like, a week ago. Uh-huh. Ballad. Uh, yeah, Ballad. Everyone's gotta have a, everyone's gotta everyone's have a ballad. Everyone's got, got a nice Autumn Ballad. What yeah. is this giving me some Moon Embraces the Sun kind of vibes? Cause this it does is very have that vibe. I mean, this is just this for me is giving me uh, ten miles of peach blossoms vibes, which is the same thing, just Chinese. Fair enough. Yep. It it's is a ballad. Very I'm very, much just I'm a ballad. very bored. <laughs> it is another very it's another bored. Ballad. Is this a show? Can go down. No, here with this the wind. is not a show. <laughs> this is just the music video. So they're trying to make it seem like it's falling a store yes, or something? They're, they're making it seem like this is for a drama that does not exist. Interesting. Uh, it's going down here with dinner? the wind. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's Crush by Crush. Iowa. Yep. I like this a lot. I like this. This is one of the upper tier um, yeah. IOI songs. I also did like how in the show, um, produce how they did that finale song, whereas it was one song, but they had two separate groups like split it in half and like perform it separately. I really like that as a concept, mm -hmm. and they never did it again. They really should have. Yeah, but I guess something happened in the making of that that didn't work. Where they out. were just like, let's just do two different songs instead, which is still fine. But I do like that. I mean, concept I do think lot. that Produce has a problem of repeating the same. Song I can't. I'm just time. amazed out of all the girls here. It was really Chunna. I think that's taken off the most, which is just so funny. Honestly, yeah. she is the one with the she most is. star power. And then I guess, I guess, I, I guess a couple Sejong, of the other girls who do more I think ballads. Sejong is doing pretty well, but just Sejong's in a different doing role. Well, but just 
Yeah, just not as a solo. She's not. She's more yeah, of a. She's an actress now. Yeah. As an actress, she's does, phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, Sun John, yeah. She also, I think she's released some music, too. Yeah, she, she has, has she but I feel like music. her acting is more what... I think she probably makes more off of her acting. Than if she, anything, she's acting, she's well acting scene, though, is a more respectable field for work in Korea, oh, yeah. too. So, like, if anything, she's making probably the smarter choice is if she's good also, at it. Also, I like the fact that there's, I forget her name, but the one girl that just disappeared. Which one? Sohee? D- yeah, Sohee. Just yeah, she disappeared. She never really wanted to be an idol to begin with, is the thing. <laughs> I know that, but I'm just like, you got so much out of this. But isn't she acting yeah. or something? That gone. one? No, she doesn't really. even really act. She's like just She gone. did like one show right after and then yeah. just didn't really act. Maybe she just is done with the industry. Honestly, yeah. she probably might be. Probably. Which I don't blame her, frankly. Uh, I mean, it's intense. Uh, yeah, queso. Queso, yeah. What's that? This beware. beware. Yeah. So we're finally gotten to the eyes We've one. We've gotten to Japanese eyes Japanese one. Japanese eyes one. As you'll notice from the fact that we put this on our dishonorable mentions of the year list last the year. The MV looks good, though, I will say, so far. True, but the song got, is shit. The song is not good. The song is shit. It's like, so there's the other thing is, like, I I love eyes one. I'm aware that they are not good singers, and they sound exponentially worse, worse in Japanese. In, in Japanese for some reason. I don't know why they sound worse. I they don't sound, know why none sing, of them sound worse. Well, they only have worse. three members who are fluent in Japanese. Twice, well, no, has, the, well, twice has the same twice problem. Twice has the same issue. Where they sing in Japanese and everyone sounds terrible. <laughs> but that's the other thing of, like, even the fluent members sound worse. It's, I think, because J-pop has a the weird style of not... singing that is bad. If you hear like, songs in Japan, though, like, any, like... Like, even, like, something like Yasubi or even, like, Japanese rock, though, just the way they sing certain songs is it's different. different. Yeah, it based, is. Because it's based on J-pop how the language girl is girl like. So, like, yeah. it doesn't mesh J-pop well. Gr- the thing is, like, there are J-pop girl groups that sing better than this. This is specifically an issue with how they are writing these songs. Yeah, I think those songs yeah. are yeah. written to be, to be essentially, you know how, um, we say uh, C-pop sounds like it is um, a children's a song. children's song. This is a ch- musically, but this, this is, is a children's, children's song, song, but different vocally. It is meant to be sung by children. The, the it's, it's instrumental more of the sounds vocal fine. style. The vocal like style a child to be meant the whole, to be sung rather by than the song a, being a, written for children. It is meant yeah. to be sung by a child. Yeah. And that and is like, where this is like I don't this song. The lower the song goes on, like the worse it gets. It's just like it's not good. I think we put yeah, close your lips. Gotta, show. It's yeah, gotta yeah, go yeah, down yeah. here. It's not good. <laughs> What's that? That one's Bon 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 Girls, just Bon Bon Girls. <laughs> their Bon Bon Girls self title song, Bon Bon Girls. Yep, the, their debut song, Bon Bon Girls. <laughs> Let me get to the actual. Did they have a whole part? Television? They were just talking. Do you know the intro for a music? You know the intro bits. Yeah. This is more on the aggressive C-pop side. True. But, like, everything's I pink. I also think they sound bad here as well. I don't well. know why. I don't did they just give this girl a poor mullet? Girl. <laughs> they gave her They just gave her a mullet. Her a My mullet. god, yeah, the poor they thing. they give her a mullet. I think that overall this <laughs> song is not good. It's not a good song, no. <laughs> it's a bad song. And also, oh, that high note, honey. No, I'm sorry. No, and it, like, it's, so, it's, just, it's so weird because they have such talented members, and then this they get these songs, and it's like, what's the going thing on? With it is like, at least the other songs, they're bad, but the girls don't sound terrible. They don't sound bad. They sound bad here because, and I can tell that it's this not is their a weird talent. bass choice decision. This is a weird decision the for the production to be chosen for as a bass. Yeah. But, like, they are good singers just being given bad material. They are, and it's very upsetting. And then it just makes them sound worse, then. And it's like, it's like, you yeah. know what this is like? It's like with Blackpink, with Teddy Mae giving them shitty produced music <laughs> every single well, fucking Teddy's time. And I'm like, been, Teddy has the best Blackpink has sounded in years is Sour Teddy's Candy on Lady Gaga's that. album Chromatica. That's the kind of music that group needs. No, they no, no. need uh, yeah, some also, sour you, candy. You know, you know, just coming from me, I also think that the talent level of Blackpink is highly overstated. 
Tal- it's, Blackpink's yeah. talent level is. I I would like to see them getting you know songs that aren't terrible. Although Lily, part of it although is Lisa's fault. doing pretty well for single though, it's selling. Lisa's single not is good. also bad. At least single Lisa's is not good. Very bad. It's not bad. It's okay. It's, very it's okay. Bad. It's really bad. It's, it's better bad. than like it's slightly better than like some of the recent stuff. I will say the I mean, my favorite so far much. has to be Rose for sure. Her solo. Well, that's just stuff. bad. Taylor Swift. It, it is, is not like that Taylor bad. Swift. It is Taylor Swift, but it is not bad Taylor Swift. It is okay it's Taylor bad. Swift. You know, it's yeah, it's, <laughs> it, you know, it makes you think maybe being Taylor Swift is harder than it looks. <laughs> it is harder than it looks. Taylor know, Swift Rose has had a car. Not going as <laughs> no, maybe being Taylor Swift is a little bit more, it's you a know. a little bit more difficult than originally than think, thought. Than originally intended. But you know you what? Know, back to Bon Bon. At least she's still, was, I don't know if Taylor Swift is, is Taylor Swift still playing a guitar in her music videos, though? No. Probably not. You know what? Rose is still playing a guitar. Folklore and Evermore, probably. Folklore, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what's uh, this? This is I and I. Taylor Swift. Our new boys are released today. Song. Or, this is Rocketeer. Yeah. Or is it brighter? Oh no, this is the other. Yeah, brighter. So this is only a teaser. We don't have this full song yet. Sadly. No, we do not. But we're it sounds amazing. The- so wait, this we're getting a phenomenal. teaser. <laughs> this, is a, this is a 36 second teaser that we have for the song Brighter by yes. uh, I and I. Why does it sound fucking this was, phenomenal? This was voted to not be the title track, which is upsetting because it's oh way better as a God. song. Oh my Listen to this. It's so good. Oh. Why is this We're basing this off track? of 30 something seconds from a teaser. Yes. We are. Yes. Well, we need to hear the full song, though. With this teaser it's instantly. not out. The song is not out. Is the problem. November. 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 When the actual single releases. Hopefully November. November. I'm yeah, pretty sure J-pop they... also releases their single like three their months before the album. Their music video drops at least a full month before the album, yeah. Because and then uh, multiple Rocketeer, other yeah. music videos will drop in the in all the in the prelude. Because yeah. Rocketeer is also from the same album, and Rocketeer came the out full today. song came out today, yeah. And um, like the album won't come out till November. Oh, this is no. great. This is what I want them to be making. This is everything I, I want. I that does sound really nice, though. Okay, but I need a full song. Yeah, I need a full if song. If this whole song was out and it's that good, we're, then we it's good. cup of milk. Yeah, but Instantly. now for now it's queso because it's uh, not a whole song yet. But we're giving it a like, teaser a queso. Sounds great. Phenomenal. It sounds so good. But give me that song. Give okay, me. I actually really enjoy the song. So this song is IOI's very, very, very. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it fine. Uh, it, I enjoy I it a lot. I d- it's meh. fine. I feel nothing. It was so just like it disappointing just as a last song for them too. Like this was they only got three. This songs, was their most this popular. Was the last one. Yeah. Well, they only had so they only three. Had three. And the one and was the one debut, was and one was a subunit. <laughs> So, like, not really. But also, like, they were only together for, like, what, eight months? Eight months, so, eight months yeah. yeah. They could have done mo- I think this is... Well, they only did eight because it was the first season, so it was kind of like... They didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, and also, they mismanaged them infinitely. But, um, like... Yeah. But also, like, if you only have eight months, you probably should put more effort into the quality of the song. Also, JYP, do better. This is a, this is also JYP, just, like, do better. could be an early twice song, easily. You what know what? JYP? Honestly, yeah. probably was. It, it was probably, probably was an early JYP twice. Was like, I will I bet it was probably an early I'm twice reject that they were just like, the here you go, I O I. It was maybe a JYP thing, and this is not good, quite good enough for twice, so we gave it to I O I. Yep. I think this goes into ice cream. At ice best, cream. Kayla. Yeah, it's there. It's fine. It's whatever. What's this? That's oh, I promise you. So I promise you is maybe my favorite one one song. Uh, I think it uh, it's between that and energetic for me. Yeah, I find it's. Very, I feel like I this was overplayed really a lot, but like it's a good song. It's a good song. I think it kind of overshadowed the actual title track a little bit. Yeah, it did. It greatly overshadowed. <laughs> Which one sure. was it? This was with. Boom! No, was it with boom. Boomerang? I thought it was with Boomerang. It, yeah, this was with Boomerang. And well, I that's the case then. Like, good, but uh, it's honestly, not. Honestly, really it's way boomerang. better than Boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I, the thing with One One, One One has the talent levels it's like, of its members very, wildly, very drastically, drastically and wildly. And it's like I feel like this and like um, 
energetic. What was the other one? Energetic and like a spring breeze. This is like the type of song I want from them rather than like Burn It Up or like Boomerang and yeah. that stuff. I'd Speaking rather which, them. We did not put Burn the, It Up on this list. It's fine. No, because it's fine. It's bad. It was not the title track anyway, so it doesn't matter. It lost that battle. <laughs> yep. Good. Mm hmm. I really like this song. I, like I think it it's a very lot. sweet. I think that it's the right kind of EDM ish. It is. Yeah, it is. It's this is this I is kinda this is good higher. EDM Even breakdown in a pop song. I I think K so. Yeah. I almost want to put it in, in milk, but I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's not quite there. Yeah, it's what definitely K so for sure. Uh, what is that? The ex what is that? It's a explosion from what's that? Going to powerfully burst from oh, rise. Fuck, which one's uh that's not that it's this one there it is jesus so, oh boy mainly with Back the fact that so much of these are entirely as you can see in chinese i can only do yeah. so much in terms of remembering what each song what's is. what is, what we're doing here going to powerfully burst a lot of i do chinese not know how to read fun. the chinese titles characters. are fun true did I, did I leave, like, all of the nine, like, yeah, all the nine? Did we just, like, we what, get did these guys just soon. step out of, like, the late 90s, early 2000s with the hair thing? In terms of hair? Yeah. Uh, possibly. Um, mm -hmm. they're, the hair choices are questionable with oh, this yes. group a lot. This is Look not his, a great one, this, this song. This song I don't this one is particularly not it. <laughs> love. It's a lot. It's a lot. They kind of made this this and a bit of I and I have a very similar vibe in that like they do. you got a very there's a specific style of this that I enjoy. And this is not this is, really This that. is not this it. It's a bit this, too This one's not it. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to gravitate towards here. Yeah. Marie, mm -hmm. you're the resident rap expert. What do you think? I've heard much better rap, trust me. Yeah. Idol groups I do know. not have great rap overall. Period. That's just me being There's honest. There's my boy. <laughs> I love this one kid. This one kid is ab amazing, and I love him. We got the. We have at least one person to care about. Sometimes there. you don't even need to know what they're saying to know a rap's the bad. Honestly, <laughs> it's just the flow. It's about delivery and how it goes Look, along. There's the song. rap in my own language. I don't understand, and I know is bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is not it. This chorus is even worse. Oh, this this chorus is bad. What's up I with the whistle in it, the middle? Kayla. Drop yeah. it. He's going down. Yeah, he's going down, down here. <laughs> oh, now we get to the. We true, got. I like, brought it up because truly, I, this is an experience. In the nine. So we have the nine Sphinx, which is their first. Uh, this is their debut. This debut. This is the debut. This is the debut. Is this the one Mind the... you, I want to. Why does she have there elf ears? Are... I don't know. It's there her are aesthetic. Nine though. members. Of this group. Maria, seven of them are rappers. There are seven rappers in a group? There are seven rappers. Um, they also, the two that are not rappers, one of them is their main vocal, who they also make rap sometimes. Their other member is named Esther, and she can't do anything. In, like Esther's musical. entire thing is that she is a sub-vocalist. Yes. She speaks like a baby. I don't, we don't love her. Don't love Which her. She's very popular. I've somehow Stockholm Syndrome myself into liking the nine a lot, though. Meow, meow. Yeah. I mean, I like this song a lot. Yeah. But this is, like, the epitome of, like, your, like, noisy, I aggressive, mean, you like, know, girl group you song. You just saw Baby Monster right there. Baby Monster It's is like my these favorite. girls are, like, trying to exclude some, like, Megan the Stallion energy, but it's Here's, just coming off of weak sauce. Monster, like, Maria. hard time. If we gotta be honest here. I like, I like to describe this. Baby Monster as the epitome of, like, an ABG, because that is what she is. <laughs> and can you explain to the audience what an ABG is? Um, no. Um, not really. And <laughs> Is that like, one of those VTuber kind of people, or no? No. No, it's, so, it stands for Asian Baby Girl, and it's this, like, weird, oh, like... Oh, those people! Basic, basic bitch, like, it's just, like, an aesthetic and a vibe that you have, where you're, like, kind of a little bit gangster, but also, like, a basic bitch. It's, like, very... But, also, but you're Asian. That's foot. a big... That's you're a key thing. Asian, yeah. But also, your key point is Asian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, maybe five foot. 
Like, yeah, specifically, like, small, like, small, small and, like, gangster and basic bitch all in one. And small I think gangster and then, like, like have, might have some big dick energy. If you want to go, like, to look up, like, baby monster and just, like, get an idea for her aesthetic, like, that's, that's what That's exactly it is. what that is. Exactly what can they what do to is. this poor girl with the short hair? It's like, what's the, what's the metallic stuff in her hair? I don't the poor know. thing. But, uh, what do you want to do with this, Kayla? Because I think it's I don't great. Know. I do like it a lot. Okay, so... Okay, so yeah. And it's like they sound like, you know, they probably have less talented people in the than group bon than bon girls. Bon Bon girls, but they have better music. Oh, they have much better music. Well, probably yeah. cuz they have a certain vibe, they want to work with them and they know that they can pull it off. They do have a, they, they do, do have a consistent vibe. I'll give them that. Yeah. Bon Bon girls has a much less consistent vibe to Oh them. yeah. That's um, set it off by U9. Where is U? Where the where is U9 in this timeline? They pull off the vibe pretty well. I will give them the that. The vibe is very good. Yeah, they definitely actually... they have the right people made oh, that yeah. group for that That's vibe. That's the for thing sure. with with all of the idol producer youth with you crew, is that I feel like there is no way that that group was rigged because no. why the fuck would you rig? Why a would you have seven, seven rappers? rappers? But because then they have a idol producer. They also yeah. didn't rig that group, and there's like five rappers. There's five out of nine rappers in that group. But, yeah. Somehow they make it work with the people that they have, yeah. which is awesome. This as that's what they're supposed to do. These shows, yeah, Frank exactly. or like they, you're not whoever supposed ends to up rig your group to fit the concept that you want. That's what you're not exactly. supposed to do. Take exactly. Take notes, Korea. and that Korea source. Take some notes. You're also not supposed to, you know, cyber bully a kid off the show and dump milk, um, waste milk products. We'll talk about that later. But, you know. <laughs> that's, that's for, like, three weeks That's for now. later. <laughs> oh, jeez. I like the song. This is good. Uh, Zoom or K-Zoom? This is okay. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. It's fine. It's, they have better songs, I think. They do. Um, that's, That's uh, real. Real? Real. Yeah. So we're back to JO one. We love. This is their most recent, recent title. Song? Yeah. Title track at least. Title yeah. track. Because we have a more recent song on here. Yes, we do. I think that this is just continues the budgets. Yes. They have yes. great budgets. They do have great budget. And for J pop, oh my god, the budget. Oh, their budget is so good. Their for budget for a J pop sure. group truly amazing. Yeah. This is a kind of a, up, like just up there with like Born to Be Wild, where it's like you know kind of mid tier J one yeah, yeah, for yeah. me. I put it's this not like yeah, just like Zoom. right next to its yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that one? I don't know which one. it's Wada one, but I don't know uh, which one. It might be beautiful. Beautiful or light? That might be light. It might be light. Hang on. No, light. Or is it beautiful? Light. No, no this is beautiful. no. This one is light. So yeah, this is beautiful. beautiful. I don't like beautiful at all. I don't mind beautiful, but it's. I really don't like this song. Do you not like the eight minute music video that also comes with it? Yeah, that is one. This that's song's one okay. Like it's just it just feels a little bit like it's just a cheesy, little too sappy. It's yeah, just so it's very like, sappy it's a boring. Because when you compare it to Spring Breeze, which it also has like weirdly similar vibes, yeah. it's just slightly more sappy, and I don't love that. It's just a bit much. It's just a lot. It's a lot, and it's very, I find it incredibly boring. That's fair, honestly. Ice cream, Ice cream yeah. Oh, great. Uh, or, or returned to Japanese eyes one. Uh, also, they have that know. weird dance move where they're, like, hugging themselves, but they're, they're Yeah, like, I hate that. Partner. I hate that so much. Where they're pretending to so dance with a partner. Oh, it's not good. So this, this is, is Is this vampire? a- I, I, but No, this is Buenos Aires. Is the next one. Oh. Is it? I thought that was Vampire. Whoops. Vampire is over here. Never mind. This is Buenos Aires by Eyes One. I mean, my opinion will not... This is not good. I don't understand why... Also, why does This is, why is it maybe look the like worst this? one? No, Vampire's terrible. I, between this and Vampire, they're just so bad. Because Beware is terrible. Beware is but bad, but this is, worse. like, worse. The, the two of them are very much worse than Beware. Yeah, to me, there's just, like, a difference in quality, too, with, like, the song. The quality is bad, yeah. I don't understand why the it's like It feels so like a step worse. down. It's the not quality is so much worse. Alright, I don't think this is absolutely terrible yet. I haven't heard the chorus yet. Hold up. I have oh, to wait girl. for the chorus. 
The chorus is something. Wait, I gotta wait for the chorus then. I forgot. It's been a hot minute since I listened to this song. Oh, I actively choose to never listen to them. To the chorus? To the, I've never listened to their Japanese songs. The thing with the, the Japanese Eyes One songs is that I find that they are very, like... I don't know why we're doing this. Like, I don't why know don't why we're have... making these decisions. Because, like, I mean, it used to be that anytime you did a Japanese song... Yeah, 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 this is kind of, eh, like, lackluster. Every, anytime you did a Japanese song as a K-pop group, like, that's where you put your... the songs to die. Yeah. It is. But it's turned around recently. Like, really Japanese bad. songs have been good. Mm-hmm. I don't know why this one is so bad. That one was terrible. It's not good. It's so bad. I've actively stopped it because I don't want to listen to it anymore. I don't want to listen to it. Uh, it's is bad. that? Yeah, it's very. Uh, uh, shine a- let's shine a light. So I love Shine a Light a lot. I adore this song. It's good. For I mean, lo- it's a little boring in comparison to their other songs. <laughs> See, I just love the vocals in it. I think that they're very cute and they look like they're having so much fun. I don't know. It's very sweet. Everyone just looks very. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm getting wholesome vibes from this. It's very, it very wholesome. wholesome. Yeah. It's also where I fell in love with Rookie, guys. Love Rookie. <laughs> I remember yep. we watched that show and we did not know who Rookie was. We're we like, had no idea. No we, idea we who seen Rookie was. Him and we're like, oh, this kid's making the group. He's always here. And then it was this. It was like Happy Merry Christmas fan cam, too. And it was just like, yeah, Rookie's was right be- there. Between the Happy Merry Christmas fan cam and yeah. like little bits and pieces where like well fuck and also the happy merry christmas music video because he's in the whole thing he is it's shining, his song shining shining one you're the only only one i want this in milk but i'll take queso i think it goes next to these other two here she deal what's uh, this it's fearless girls by bon bon girls this is all right we're finally not bad done with bon bon girls now oh mm. wait where's Shit. No, um, where'd it go? Maybe. Did I get rid of it? Do these people take a page out of Bonbon Ch- Chocolate with Bonbon Girls? I'm just. I don't in. know. Probably why. not. I have no idea why they're named that. To be honest, it makes literally no sense that that's their name. Um, this is just mm. another one that's just very kind of. It's. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. Okay, why is she wearing I, a bra over a shirt, though? Because for fashion. the style, and also like I've seen that before. Like that, they've done that in K-pop before. Yeah. Like girl group fashion is just weird at times. Mm-hmm. It's whatever. It's I don't dinner? hate it. Dinner, yeah. Oh, it's Violetta. Oh, Violetta. So Violetta might be my least favorite of the eyes one. Yeah, it's not one of their better ones. Like in Korean. Boring. In Korean, yes. It's a little boring. I refuse to acknowledge the Japanese ones until I have to. Those are a different a different breed of songs. It's a different group. It's a different group. Again, who did they hire to create these music videos? These are stunning. And why did they not hire them to also do the Japanese ones? Right? Like what happened? Where is the Oh hey, was it three D supposed is it is it the rumor that three D's are gonna be in potentially a big hit group? Yeah, so it's yes. Chewan, um, Minju, and there's a girl who's not in the group but was on the produced for the on Yujin who's or Ho Yujin. She is being rumored for Was it too, Sakura like being brought oh, over too. rumored has a big lit? Yeah. Who knows? I think Big I'm Hit pretty sure she's to... under. I'm pretty sure Big Kid has like acquired her. Like, Maybe. I don't know if it's official yet. No, They're probably Big not Kid gonna... will not release any statements on it. But like, I I think it is. They're probably head. not going to saying... say anything until they put out a group and are like, "Here you go, here she is." Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. I feel I like. I think Big Kid also just wants all the girls in their new group already vetted from previous trauma. True. Just already Very vet true. them immediately. <laughs> vet everything. <laughs> Yeah. No more criminals. I'm still mad with <laughs> how they got rid of G, a G friend. That I mean, was just like that, a that, that not, their, Don't that's know what really happened there. with that. I think G friend was just like we're done. No, Is there, there, was, there was something with contracts suspicious. that broke really down, and then they were like, "Yeah, it's really... it is." 
I think it was a because they weren't really because it was more source music because they're still under source. I think it was probably parts. a source music problem. I think rather, it was source yeah. music. Yeah, source music done fucked up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but well, also at least they like, went out with a good song though. Chief Friend, Mago was yeah, good. Also, Chief Friend was kind of like not at its previous heights. Yeah, who knows what'll um, happen. Yeah, they- I'm just gonna start to fiesta. Just start shoving that into like Zoom Zoom or ice cream. And I put it ice just, cream. It's us there with fiesta. Right. It's not like a bad song. Now. It's a good song. It's not bad. Well, ice cream's not a bad tier. Yeah. What's that? I True. need a doctor. I need a doctor. Oh, I love I need a doctor. I love this song. Oh god, this song this is song great. Is great. This I think this, this is milk. my favorite song. I think it is cup of milk. This is my favorite song from Nine Percent for oh, sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I love this I've, song. They I have no idea what this music. next song is. They need more songs for That's sure. That's Real Breaker by 9%. Oh, okay. They need such more music. It's it's un- it's unfortunate for both them and for ILI because they had the management issues, troubleshooting problems, yeah. And like they were the trying to figure out had... how to manage a temporary group and it was like unfortunately obvi- when you're the first, the first one, one you, you get end fucked up with... over, yeah. Because that, in a way, kind of also happened with... Because it didn't happen so much with Rocket Girls, because Rocket Girls was being still managed by CJ E&M as well. Yeah. All I'm going to say one. is first is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the treasure chest. So you know who's winning, if you think about it. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the Korean one. One could say the I same mean... thing. First is the worst, second the best, third is the one that got the bank, a.k.a. Eyes won. So who is that for? Not necessarily, because I feel who like is, who one is that one. For? Second is the best, because you nine's not the best group out of them, no. for sure. And, and Rise nine, is not the best group. The nine is not thriving. <laughs> that doesn't happen. And C- yeah. C-pop is, like, the extreme. I guess with C-pop, C-pop, it doesn't C-pop apply. C-pop rules doesn't, yeah. I love this song. It's absolutely amazing. It's great. I love that song. What's uh? So then we have Rule Breaker by uh, 9%. Um... Rule Breaker is their debut, and Rule Breaker is that slightly more aggressive sound anyway. 9% can definitely do the very aggressive, because well, all, with all has, five of their rappers. Yeah, 9% has Boogie and Lil Ghost, and Coon, and even Justin. Justin. Justin's even a rapper. Baby, the child Justin yeah. is good. I think this is also, like, up there. I don't it's know if it's Cup queso. of Milk, it's probably it's Queso. It's probably Queso, yeah. I also love just how you look at these kids and you're like, they can't do aggression. They're the sweetest looking they're boys. Not, uh, they're not really that aggressive. Buffon <laughs> did not make the group. Buffon. There's no one that can do aggression. And then it's like, somehow Kuhn is the most aggressive person I've Kuhn ever seen Kuhn is so life. aggressive. Kuhn I is don't know so how. aggressive all the time. Kuhn has no reason to be aggressive. And also, Justin's a child. Justin, calm down. The absolute just, like, duality of Justin in Produce Season 2 and Idol Producer is insane. I love it so much. I love the sweet boy. Mm-hmm. What's that? Dumb Dumb Bomb by The Nine. Oh. So that's a stupid title. I'm going to put that out there. Really dumb title. The song itself is also not my favorite. The Nine I think it's fine. They only have like three songs. They do. It's fine. That's I think it's really where you show more of their... It does also kind of fall into that slight... That kind slight... of wadubby. <laughs> this yeah. Venus wadubbing it itself, is, It has man. got the wadubs, yeah. I think it's... This is also where they, like, started making their main vocal rap, and, like, a lot of just weird things are happening in it. Yeah. I kind of want to put in, like, ice cream. Yeah, it's not... Ideal. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> uh, hard candy, I think. <laughs> By Rocket <laughs> Girls. Uh, yeah, it's okay. This, this one's candy. okay. Yeah. So this is very. So Rocket Girls, in and of itself, is a weird group. They are a very weird group. I don't know what their concept is, really. I think their concept is all concepts. All concepts, because we really have everything from, like, children's songs to, like, the noise to, like, whatever this is. To the ballads, to whatever the fuck I'm watching. The other thing with it is also just, like, I find that the making of this group was, like, so questionable. In that the show actively made me dislike... Most of them. Most of them. 
Yes. Except for, like, the two cosmic girls. They, they were, were mostly edited just fine. kind of there. Yami was also fine, I guess. It's really just a lot of them were edited poorly. Uh, they made everyone on that show look awful. It's really... The editing made everyone look dislikable. <laughs> like, it was bad. Uh, put that in, like, dinner. I don't like this. It's not... I don't... Whatever. That's Panorama. Oh, uh, Panorama. Time. I enjoy Panorama. I like it. I came around in it... I think the thing that keeps it from being my favorite Eyes One song is that they sound the bad. They sound really bad, but it's a good song. Parts of it sound better than others. Yeah. It's, Queso? I really enjoy it, yeah. I have very Queso. little to actually say about it. Yeah, it's a good, um, it's, I guess, not technically their last song, because they have that Universe song, and then the Pepsi song, but, like... The Pepsi song doesn't count, and the Universe song, I find that also most is of the bad. Universe songs I don't have like, bad. And any, I don't think I've liked a single song that got released for Universe. No, they've actually been bad. I think they're mainly just because... They're mostly bad. They seem like just reject songs that they couldn't put on the last album. Honestly, yeah. Because, again, why would I waste a song that people can't watch other than on this stupid app? Yep, yep. Um, that's Icarus. Oh, I love it. Icarus is probably the newest song that we have on here for I, for JL1. For, yeah, it's a technically a B-side from their album, but they did release a performance of it. And it is amazing. I've been waiting for them it. to release a song like this since Monster came out. It is amazing. I love, love it, it so much. Yeah. It's queso tier. Yes. No, no, mi milk tier, sorry. Milk tier? I forgot that our highest tier is milk tier. Milk tier. Milk it's tier. so good. I so personally good. think I... It's everything, it's like everything I want from them is that, I, is like honestly, the style of song. I go back and forth on whether I, I like this or Monster more. I think Monster is still my favorite thing they've ever done. I know, I no. love I'm that like, song. Between those two, those two are phenomenal. I love that song so much. Oh my god, they're phenomenal. I use Monster at any given opportunity when I make uh, clip videos. Like, anywhere I can put it in is like, it's gonna be Monster. there. Yeah. It is the best song called Monster. By far. For sure. For sure. Get XO out of here. It's Get J01. A, J01 Monster is where it's at. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's very What's good. What's the next one? Uh, I think it's the song called Rise, Rise by, by Rise. Rise. Yep. What is, is this? Is this also a... Uh, oh. So this what? might also be a OSC, but I didn't for realize. Men in Black? For the new... For the... For a Men in... Yeah! It's a song for Men oh. in Black! Whoops. So this is another is OSC. I apologize. I didn't realize that, I mean, they did a lot of OSCs, one of which they was did. for Men in Black, apparently. Huh. It's fine. I don't hate it. It is fine. It's pretty good. It is an OST. It's an OST. Um. I feel It's nothing. funny that it's an OST that they also just named Rise. That's funny to me. But also, it's not even Rise, but spelled correctly. It's still Rise spelled R-1-S-E. Like, the way that they spell it, yeah. I'll put it next to their other OST. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This is Rocketeer, right? Rocketeer. So Rocketeer came out today. It came today. out, at this point, ten hours ago. Yep. Uh, I love um, this song. It's now. great. Uh, we first heard it, and we were very questionable about it, and then I listened to it a couple more times, and I'm like, you know what, this is actually a banger. Yeah, like, <laughs> we, we watched the entirety of Crow Japan, watched that song, left mm -hmm. and both had dinner and came back and were like, so. You know what? It's banger. <laughs> We've come around. It's now they are great. Definitely a different vibe than JL1 for sure. Very different um, vibe. Because they do have more rappers, rappers who actually enjoy rapping, I think is the main difference here. True. And like more rappers that they give something to do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, it's not an. It's like that noise K pop. But in, like, a yeah. good way. Yes, yes. It's fun. Or at least, like, not in a bad way. Right, right. I think it's queso. I like it a lot, yeah. But then, and also, they definitely have the budget. They have the they good budget. Have, yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. not. Uh, no, it's it's about on par with JL1. They have the similar budget as JL1, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one's light, right? Rocketeer. Uh, yes. I, I think that's like the last one one uh yeah we're um we're done with no energetic 
Oh, energetic, yeah. yeah. There it is. But I feel like we're we're getting there with the. We're getting there. Personally, I think that um, weirdly, I think somehow Jaya one ended up with a bigger budget than Wana one. If you look at weirdly, it, weirdly, yeah, I think it's more just investment in the future. Mm-hmm. Like there's not the like um. Like with the uh, Wana one, like they're only going to be together for a year. Right, right. This is fine. This song. I don't hate I it. I just always think of the um the time it got covered in Produce, Produce X, X and, and then we, our, our, our favorite man. boy, our ninety first place boy. We love him. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's not my favorite of their stuff. Ice cream. It's yeah. That's or pretty. Zoom Zoom. It's, uh. We'll put Zoom Zoom. I guess it's fine. We'll be. We'll give it a a pass. Yep. And we got Secret Story of the Swan. I like this song. I do too. This is very good for Eyes One. It is sort of the the Eyes One song that made me like really like look like Love yeah. and Rose, obviously. But then you got a uh, Fiesta and Violetta, which are fine. Right. And then you get Secret Story of the Swan, and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. they're great. It's really good. Okay, so we're this, uh, we can maybe put it in milk. I think I milk. it's really good. Yeah. What's this? That's Sailor Moon by Rocket Girls, so, I think. Yeah. So Rocket Girls has a song called Sailor Moon. Uh huh. I don't entirely know why it's called Sailor. Is it a reference I to the Sailor Moon? Like this? Oh, really I actively dislike it. It's not good. It's like weirdly video, like it is video game in in. It's got the video game, yeah, vibe to it for sure. But like, I don't understand what the point of any of it is. I don't like it. Yeah, it's not great. I think we ought to give it. You know, dinner is ready or no lower goes down here. Yeah, yeah, okay. down there. Back to Those eyes. One's one good Japanese song. Oh, yes. Their first Japanese song and their only good one. Yeah, I can no longer say Japanese words, so Kayla, would you like to attempt? Um, I think it's Sukito Iwasatai. I is love the name this of song. That. It's, this song is great. great. This song is so good. It's honestly like a top tier eyes one song for me. It is so good. I think I want to put it in milk. Yeah, I think it's good for milk. It's really good. Is that enjoy Not Me by The Nine? That's Not Me, yeah. So this is more of just typical the nine, aggressive, yep. loud. Yep, but I yep. like it more than I like that other one. The previous yeah, one. I do. Same. Zoom I zoom? think it's better. Yeah, it's this is I think the B side that came with Sphinx. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty good. I like that one a lot. So then uh, this is that's O E O. Yeah, O E O is a weird song. It's a Wii song, and that makes. Perfect, Perfect sense. sense when you think Perfect about it. Perfect sense that it's a Hui song. Yes. It is the really like one of the only Hui songs that they've given J O one and it it sounds so unlike really anything else J O one. Once you done. know are aware that it's a Hui song and I'm like everything makes sense now about this song. Like it just entirely. It fall everything falls into place with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, this is a Hui yeah, song entirely. It's a Hui song. Um let's just put this with the other ones over here, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. I think it's probably one of the... It's good. It just sounds it's nothing good, like yeah. anything else they've ever done. Oh, yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> What's that? This is the other Into One song, so that's I think. Storm Center. Into One is a weird group. Into One is a very weird group, and they're weirdly a very good group. They shouldn't be good. They should The thing is, is I didn't expect them to be nearly as good as they ended up being. Like, I they're actively way better than really I thought. like them. And I yeah. actively really enjoyed their season. Right. And, like, with the Same. amount of just people that you could have there as a gimmick. Yeah. Why are they all so good? They're so good. Like, Mika's great. Santa's great. Nine is great. Mm-hmm. Love it. Patrick. All so of them good. are great. So good. The dance this is also a bit weird, though. And it's, like, but it's, like, it's also, like, less C-pop than... It is. It usually, like, it's just less C-pop than I was expecting to, so I think that also makes me like it more. Yeah, I don't know. It's, like, less aggressive C-pop. Yeah. I kind of want to put it, like, up there. Yeah. Queso? You can go queso tier. Um, this is Light by... So, Light is, like, a basically a ballad. 
Another ballad, lovely. It's, like, less of, like, a straight, boring... It's not a quiet ballad. I'll give it that. Yeah. It could still very boring. It's very boring. I'm bored. Dinner? Um, this can go with all the other ballads and dinners ready, yeah. Cool. What's this? It's whatever U9 song is left. Uh, oh, so, like, a gentleman? Yeah. We have about, like, one song per group left, so we're going great. Mm-hmm. A varying quality, too. They're all, except for, there's, like, all pretty good except for that one in the middle. This is pretty boring. This is very boring. It's kind of ballad, it's got, ba it's not a ballad, it's but ballad the ballad adjacent. vibes. Ballad adjacent, yeah. So we can go down here with all the other ballad things. Oh, so now we're on to vampire. Vampire. I this think this is, is actively go maybe here the worst. immediately. This might be the worst eyes one song ever made. It's not good at all. I don't understand what the. I mean, it does have understand. more of a budget than the other Japanese songs. Any of the decisions that were made going into this Why at does all. It sound like this. It sounds so bad. I mean, it's already down there, it's so not I think good. it's where it needs yeah, to be. Yeah, it's not, it's where it, that belongs down there for sure. Now we have monster. Monster. This is, I think, my favorite jail song Oh, it song might be my ever. favorite, too. It's so good. Like, it's up there for me. Mm-hmm. It's definitely in Cup of Milk. I adore it. It's so good. That song is amazing. Oh, one, I'm the 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 one. I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one. And then great. Energetic. Energetic, yeah. This is a great debut song. It's a very it's good really debut good. song. It's really good. It's a good song, generally. It's another Hui song. It is another Hui there song. Is... <laughs> the back end of this has just had a lot of Hui. A lot of Hui. Hui likes to just give away his songs to, you know, produce groups, I mean, apparently. let's be honest. I don't think Pentagon would have done much with this. Mm-hmm. This is not a Pentagon song. I'm gonna put it on. It's not. Day. It is absolutely not a Pentagon don't song. Don't give this a Pentagon. What? I can hear the parts where I think I can hear Hui singing it, but like a I, I can't put the rest of Pentagon in the here though. Hui, I can put Pentagon. Like I where is like because this is back when Edon was there. Where the hell is Edon in this song? Oof. Edon uh, exited stage left. Yeah, that's really where it devolved. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this goes into K. So I think it's very good. Yeah, that's very good. And then lastly, we have What a Man. What a man. What a man. This is just Salt and Pepper remake. This is while um, all of the random members of <laughs> IOI were debuting. debuting into different groups. Honestly, this is by far their best song. It's easily their best song. I kind of want to put that not this all in, of them are even there for I, it. I kind of want to put this in like queso or milk. Yeah, it's really good. Queso. Queso. So uh, this is the tier. The tiers. These are them. What we do need we have an F4? Four. Monster. Uh, monster, yeah. I and need I a think doctor. Do. I need a doctor. And do you want Lovey and Rose? I think Rose? we do Lovey and Rose. Lovey and yeah. Rose. And then I kind of wanted to do it where we didn't have, but we need another. Double jail one? <laughs> I mean, Happy Merry Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas. Yeah, Happy Merry Christmas is out there because it's a good song. Happy Merry Christmas so is because it is our favorite song of all time. It's so good. I love it so much. It's phenomenal. It's so good. I so love that. So that is Merry the Christmas. tears. That is the tears. I love everything about. I mean, here's Here the thing. They are. I think that there is something to like from every sing. Yeah, I say it. There's something sure, to like sure. from all of the groups that have come out of produce. Yeah, it's been for a sure. wild ass ride with produce. It's it's so there's so much produce, so much. We lost and Maria along the way apparently. We lost Maria. Um we're going to see if we can get the audio for Maria from If this not, song. that means if that means that we got it, if not we're redoing this and you'll never hear this again. And you'll never hear it. So there you go. Um uh yeah. So this has been tier ranking uh 60, 60, 60. songs from all of the produce groups. So mm -hmm. yay. That's been fun. We've had a fun time. I think it's very clear to see who we have here favorites. is our favorites, for sure. And who are our least favorites. For sure. Um, but yeah, this has been a good kickoff to produce month, and we will have uh, more episodes in the future, and they will essentially just be um, on episode each on each of the three seasons that have aired this year. Yep. So, Produce Japan, uh, Chewing 2021, and Youth with You 3. So, yay. 
look forward to that for the rest of the month and if you are listening to us on um a podcasting platform we also have a youtube channel where we post um all of our episodes with video um like this one was probably helpful to be looking at the actual tier ranker if you want to probably and then we also post fun extra clip videos every week and we will be having a couple not the whole month but we'll have a couple fun produced themed one for this month yay and if you're watching or listening to us on YouTube, we're also available on all major podcasting platforms. If you want to ever listen to us there or leave us a review there, that would be great. And we are also on Instagram and on Twitter and Knee Slap and K-Pop. And those are li- always linked in the description of every episode. And with that, we will see you next week for some more produced content. Bye! Bye!